Right, let's talk about Albion PMC, the only British organisation to successfully oppress more of the developing world than the British government, led by Nigel Cass, a man the partisan media calls a charismatic visionary, and Amnesty International calls a war criminal. Albion was given the key to the city to re-establish order following the bombings. Which is fucked up. Just saying. It is. So that's two reasons why we need to find an angle on Cass. We found one. His name? Hamish Bellagi. Born in London, Bellagi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical Scholarship at 14, which included a mentorship with Cass himself. At 16, Bellagi designed Cass's first drone fleet. Fun fact, Cass delayed the launch by a week so it would land on Bellagi's birthday. Cass sounds like Bellagi's second dad. Why would he help us? They had a falling out after an incident in the night at Delta three years ago. A buried human rights investigation accuses Cass of ordering a drone fleet to wipe out a village protesting the construction of a pipeline, but the drones malfunctioned before they could. Bellagi is named as the likely saboteur. He's been on the run ever since, but now tracking data shows he's reappeared in London. Shit, he's looking for redemption like with the protesters. This guy designed Cass's drone fleet. I think he's trying to disarm Albion. He covers his tracks well, but that's a good guess. Unfortunately, according to this Albion intelligence report intercepted by our friend Caitlin Lau, Cass knows Bellagi's in London as well. So, that's the op. Make contact with Bellagi before Albion finds him. Then convince him we have a mutual enemy in Cass. So this guy's our best chance to stop Albion and clear our names. And the largest private army on Earth wants him dead. No pressure. Hello everyone and welcome to another let's play walkthrough of Watch Dogs Legion. My name is Dabal, also known as the After Patch Game Dad, and I thank you guys really so much for watching this video. Now, for the following series, well, if you've actually been following this series, basically, you know, Watch Dogs is basically a show about this anarchist rebellion against authority. Uh, so, well, if it's something, if something you dig, I think you should get this game. <laughs> Bellagi has been snooping into Albion's affairs. Quietly, of course, but I've been able to determine that most of his activity stems from this area. Let's knock down his door then, yeah? Not so fast. Hamish isn't in, according to his home security. And before you get ideas, he's rigged his front door to a series of traps designed to delete all of his data and then your life. Not necessarily in that order. That's paranoid. To be fair, you are an armed insurgent trying to break into his flat. Anyway, you should be able to connect to the local grid and use security cameras to disarm his traps. Got it. I believe the main interface is on the rooftop. Bagsy boy, how about the windows up there? Access point, maybe? Sure, if you can get there. Three options here. One, use the window washing platform. Two, find a cargo drone. Three, give up, go home, and resolve to be a better person. On it. So what we need to do here is actually find Mr. Hamish Bolaji uh, and also see the Nigel Cass. Pretty interesting guy, by the way. Nah, no, fuck that, fam. Full trap set up, yeah. You could force the traps to unlock by rewiring the power. On it. Welcome to Clara Present Danger, and welcome to Fascist London. The traps are disarmed. Now, if you go through the front door of the flat, it's much less likely you'll be killed. Move! One more muscle, chief, and I'll blow the whole place with you in it. All right, bruv, just relax. Who the fuck are you? And what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? You what, mate? Nah, I think resistance. What, dead sec? Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. Listen to me, listen. Look, Albion knows you're in London. You've got to run, you fucking idiot. Fuck me. 
You're telling the truth, aren't you? <laughs> fucking hell, thought I was careful. Fucking idiot, Amish! Look, cuss is worse than you know. Yeah, bruv, I know. I know, like, I mean, what do you think I came here for, man? Maybe, because Nigel Cass is paying you. That's how fucking mercs work. Yo, look, I'm here to get your help. We want to take down Cass. Look, he started all the bombings, and then he tried fucking ending us. Mate, you don't know shit. You have no idea what Cass is and what... Move, move, oh, move! Fuck! And I'll be in squads closing in on you. I guess you weren't fuck. lying about that part. Fuck. Think, Amish. Think. Shit, fine. We'll table it. I'll buy you some time. Just go. Take no! Him out. Sign of the target. <sighs> Over. <sighs> Use a pursuit intervention technique. <sighs> All that excitement convinced our new friend Hamish that we need to work together to tackle Cass. He's willing to cooperate. All right, Chief. That was a pretty slick escape. I believe you. So I'll say this. Nigel is planning something, and I don't think I could stop him on my own. If dead sex everything I've heard, you'll help me. We can help each other. There's a chance Cass had something to do with the bombings. What could he be planning that's worse than that? No, no, that's not like him. Well, not exactly. See, Nigel's got to see himself as the hero. He's an arrogant twat, but he's not a cynic. Every place we go into, he... We would have some mad plan to fix all his problems. With robot police or automated crop fertilizing or some shit. Society was a technical problem. And people are just bugs in the software, you know? You work around them, or you squash them. Sorry, Chief. I've got to switch proxy servers so they don't trace me. I'll hit you right back on voice. Listen, I've got an inside man, right? A contact in Albion. Says Nigel's got this big meeting happening at White Tower. He'll be talking about a major project he's got planned for London. 
working on an upgrade of his private police state. Brilliant. Does this prick ever take a day off? Whatever he's up to, we need eyes on that meeting. I've always wanted to be in on a caper. Okay, first things first. We'll need eyes on the impregnable target, so off you go. I'll crack on with assembling the right personnel to round out this ragtag bunch of misfits. Ah, shit. I'll be inside with security sniffing my proxy IP. Must have traced the detonator signal. I've got to deal with this. Okay. Hmm. Jesus, we don't even know if we could get in there. I'd like to help, fam, but now I just caught a whiff now. With all the CTOS cameras, it'd take him less than five to ID me. I ain't risking my pretty face. We need an Albion insider for our caper, one who's willing to turn coat. I've reached out to a contact who works in a nearby pub. Where better to find a bleakly disillusioned anti-hero numbing their conscience with drink, but secretly desperate for redemption? I've let our contact know what we're in the market for, and she's nearby. Hey. You lot certainly know how to pick your targets. You do know that Albion have set up their headquarters in there, right? That's the point. Nigel Cass is pitching some sort of big project that's sure to make life difficult for everyone. And we've got to know what it is so we can learn how to stop it. Fucking Nigel Cass. You're right. Nothing good can come of this. Luckily, I hear loads of sub stories working in a pub. And near this place, quite a few from Albion are dissatisfied with the status quo. You turn on the charm, and I'm sure you can get one to join the good guys. Even got a candidate in mind. Interesting. Let's have their information. I'll have Bagley push it along. Good luck, love. We're aware of an Albion employee who might be approachable. So now we have to cause you up to some app. Albion bastard, is that it? They're jackbooted thugs who regularly murder civilians. If finding a disenchanted employee is really that difficult, humanity is much worse off than I thought. It would also be quite useful to have someone on the inside. For however long that lasts, Nigel's real good at sniffing out spies. Personal experience speaking? Yeah, not really in a sharing mood right now, fam. Sorry, I have to go train. Tell me about her bugs. Looks like she's a marked woman. Clank Kelly put a bounty on her head. Why? She's an uncommonly dangerous underground boxer. Apparently she wants one to fight with a bag of cement, however you do that. And in her last match, she took down a mob-backed favourite. Now they're sending out an enforcer to make sure she never wins again. Not if we have anything to say about it. Bagley, find that enforcer. Already done. AI giant Broken Tech announced today that they are cancelling Daybreak, the neural mapping technology designed to allow people to live forever. A spokesperson for the company told press the decision to shutter the project was made out of respect for the memory of their founder, the late Sky Larson. What the company has in store following the death of their illustrious leader remains to be seen. The enforcer we're after is here, currently enforcing some poor bastards headed to the pavement. If you take them out, our boxer friend may live to fight another day. Well, that's Gail. Get ready. Fecker. Gobshoy. Get! Fucked! You wanna slap, huh? 
Where's the target? Shut your fucking mouth! Hey, I'm complying here! Go on trying me and you'll find out I can actually hurt you. That hurts. There, who says violence never solves anything? They'll scarf her or they'll kill you for sure. She won't forget that. You did all right, I suppose. Let's not mince words. You're in danger. What do you mean? Clan Kelly is upset you beat their fighter, so they're going to kill you. We already dealt with the first thug they sent for you, but more are coming. Good thing I'm so great at kicking asses. Unfortunately, the numbers don't lie, and they're sending in a force that would overwhelm even you. You need to go into hiding. We'll keep them occupied until you're safe. Sure thing, whoever you are. I owe you one. Thank you. Enemies incoming. That does it. Get somewhere safe so we can contact our fighter. Are you alright? I'm alright. Jesus, the Kellys really have taken over. Does anybody fight fair and square anymore? DedSec is looking to fill the ranks. You should join. Yes, yes, yes! If we're lucky, word hasn't spread that you've hung up your jackboots. Just try to put on your meek, harmless, broken-by-the-system face. Oh, and don't forget your uniform. Wow, this tech is so cool. Looking sharp, your ex-colleagues won't pay any attention to you unless you let them take a close look. A word of caution now we're inside. Any disturbance in here and Nigel Cass will surely cancel his meeting. Avoid being detected by your former colleagues, or this operation is a bust. Nigel won't have anything important on this floor. You seem to know an awful lot about him. Yeah. I was Albion too, if you hadn't twigged to that. Me and Cass were close once. Looked up to him. Huh. He was bigger than life, fam. Literally a tech genius. And I was just a gearhead kid. I wanted to be like him. That's why I joined up. Seriously? Didn't find out he was a murderous prick until later. Yeah. You don't think it's gonna make sense? Yeah. They better not be just a bunch of terrorists pretending to have morals. This door clearly requires a security pass. Brill. Use one of the nearby computers to create your forgery. Be careful. You don't want to know what Nigel does with trespassers. It'll take some time for the forgery to be ready. To keep you occupied, I dragged up still images and a recording from an internal investigation into Cassinia's death. Let's see it. Internal Psych Assessment AS001 Subject Cass Nigel. Mr. Cass experienced a deeply traumatic event when he witnessed the murder of his father, Gareth Cass, CEO of Albion. He began exhibiting symptoms soon after what he frequently described as the random event. Mr. Cass's initial symptoms included insomnia,
paranoia, distorted blame and recurring flashbacks. However, he appears to have channeled his anger and self-described powerlessness into his work to ensure that Albion become, quote, a mechanism for preventing unpredictable violence. It seems somewhat of a mania, edging on psychosis. For me, this raises concerns about Mr. Cass's fitness to run a multinational security company, but I cannot, at this time, make any recommendation beyond continued monitoring, especially considering that I have been asked to close this file. Oh, wow. I almost feel sorry for him, but maybe he should have gone through therapy instead of being put in charge of securing London. Yeah, well, Nigel's never close to anyone but his dad. And me, I guess. Never had much faith in people, really. Well, the pass is ready, but rough. If this resistance thing doesn't work out, I doubt you'll make a living as a document forger. Let's give it a go anyway. Nigel Cass awaits. How's it going? Seems a bit tense. How are you getting on with those lectures? The deadline is coming up quickly. You wouldn't do to miss it. He's presenting to the stakeholders right now. I know, I know, but if I mess this up, then the whole project is delayed. I don't know how long. Don't... Welcome to Project Themis. Our new autonomous drones. These drones can identify, isolate, and terminate threats before they can do harm. They can go anywhere, see everything. They could kill a man alone in an alley or in a crowd of hundreds with perfect precision. Themis drones can do what humans have always struggled to. Act immediately and decisively. Without your support, I couldn't stand here and tell you. But I promise you, that with the launch of Project Temis, London will be the first city in the world to be made truly safe. Mr. Cass, I was hoping you called us all in here today to discuss the ethical issues. <laughs> no, it's all right, the Commissioner cares, as we all do. I admire his, his passion and his dedication. Let's talk ethics. Well. For one, Themis goes far beyond Albion's mandate. We really should have more government consultation. I see. Delay the launch so that we can debate and assess the details. We're missing the human element here. I can get the defence minister on the line right now. Well, if you feel you must. It's the human element that got us into this. No more debate, delay, indecision. Understand this. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. Now, will our friends at Titus be ready? You are the cornerstone of the project, after all. Do you need to consult any outside parties? Uh... No. We'll be ready. And just in time. Criminals running our streets. Illegals threatening our families. The police commissioner himself. Assassinated by terrorists. Decisiveness is hard. But here's the best part. Once this decision is made, no more will be required of you. Attention! A building-wide security sweep has been initiated due to docking. I warned you about that forgery. Your uniform will help. Don't let them get a close look at you. How do I get out of here, Bags? The catacombs, fam.
wants an asshole. <gasps> Great. You must be joking. So mind your action in there, didn't you? Very, very, uh, persuasive. Sounds like he plans to launch Themis ASAP. And from the way he was talking, I don't think it's a sort of genie that goes back into the bottle. Liking this at all. Albion's top secret project is an automated killing machine. And it looks like Cass is almost ready to launch. We have to get Themis out of his hands. I'll prepare a briefing. Will we see you there, Hamish? Pretty face, not risking, remember? But patch me in. You and me got some scheming to do, Badly. Okay, so that'll be it for this part. Um then i do appreciate you guys actually watching this video so do click like and subscribe and i'll see you guys for the next video now the videos will be coming in thick and fast since i do have some free time right now and yeah look forward to it i think tonight i'll be playing gta San Andreas on twitch so follow me on twitch see you guys bye bye